Remember, YouTube Media is on Twitter. And to stay in contact with him, go to the link in the description and enter your email. In this video, I'm going to show you the fundamentals of routers, wireless networks, and war driving. Now, most of you probably have a wireless network or have used one, but is it really safe and how do they all work? Well, this is how a wireless network looks. You have a modem delivering internet to the router, which is distributing the wireless internet throughout your home so other computers can connect to it. But how do you set up a network? Well, when you buy a new router, plug the power in, then attach an ethernet cord connecting the router and the modem together, then another ethernet cord connecting the router and the computer together, and you might have to press the reset button on the back. Then open your internet browser and a window should pop up on the screen. This is basically the router's mini operating system where you program it and create your network. So now once you do that, you now have a network. Now remember to change the router's password. When you're connected to any wireless network, you can access the router's controls from any computer connected to it if you have the password. Basically, there's an assigned default gateway, which is an address you type in your inter internet browser. It's listed on the back of your router. The most common one is 192.168.1.1. This takes you inside the router's controls, basically the settings of the router. Now, if you don't change this password, then it'll be left as the default password, which is something simple like password. You can find a list of all the default passwords for each router on Google. But as long as you have a security-enabled network, only the people in your network can even try to access the router's settings. So if you have an unsecured network, then you better change your router's password. Sorry, I know this may be confusing if you don't know any of this, but once you get it down, it's simple. So now that said, I'll tell you about war driving. War driving is kind of like hacking. It's a very complex process, but the most basic way to explain it is basically a person goes driving around with their laptop, finding unsecure wireless networks, then connects to it and see if the person hasn't changed the router's password, which they usually don't. So this gives the war driver full access to the victim's network, so they can track their personal info, crash the network, and even lock them out. So change your router's gateway password and have a secured network. Now, are all free Wi-Fi networks safe to use for any site, coffee shops, libraries? No, because on public networks, an intermediate computer user can use programs that poison the network, which are very easy to obtain. So say you're at the coffee shop with free Wi-Fi, and Sally is using the Wi-Fi, and so is John the hacker who has poisoned the network. Then Sally types in her email's username and password, which usually would go straight to the router. But since John has poisoned the network, it's going to be displayed on his computer screen first, then go to the router. Alright, remember to check out the video description, and thanks for watching.